Hey everyone, thanks for joining me at my channel. Before we get into this video, I just would like to ask everybody to click like and subscribe. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do the stitch braid. And I'm using my sister as a lab rat. So at the end of this video, be sure to share this with all your friends and family. And I will see you in the next video. Alright, so you guys, I'm here with my sister and I'm going to be doing the famous stitch braids on her. And I'm going to let her take out her own ponytail. She has a beautiful head of hair. Go ahead and take out your ponytail, please. Alright, so I'm just going to pretty much part her hair in four sections. And make kind of like a cross. So she wants a high ponytail and so I'm going to make the horizontal line a little bit higher just so that her ponytail is exactly where she wants it. With each section you're going to grab a clip and just secure each section out of the way. Alright, so we've started the design and she wanted one stitch braid and two cornrows. And I'm going to show you how I did this. So this is our last section. And with a fine tooth comb, I am going to part her hair. the way into the center. I'm using some elastic bands that she got from Walmart. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's just regular small um, elastic bands. This is what they look like. Starting from the top, I'm going to bend her hair all the way to the bottom. This is the hair we're using. It's called Easy Braid Professional. And it is pre-stretched Canicolon hair, I guess. It feels like Canicolon. Itch free and all that good stuff. I'm not really reviewing this. I'm just showing you guys what hair we're using. We're using the color 1B. And as you can see, she has really thick hair. So when you start install <laughs> when you start installing for someone with really thick hair, you have to make sure not to add too much, otherwise their braids are going to be extremely thick. So you really have to think about how much hair you are adding 
on top of the hair they already have if she didn't have such thick hair it's actually you know easier to braid because it's just standard thickness and so all I'm doing here is adding a little bit of olive oil eco styler gel to smooth the edges and she's kind enough to give me a section as I braid so I'm getting a small section and starting a regular braid With thick hair, at some point you have to stop adding hair completely and just braid all the way to the end until it's time to start adding hair for the ponytail. All right, so this is the finished result. As you can see, very nice and neat. And I'll turn her head slowly to the other side. Beautiful style.